Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at subtracting fractions with different denominators. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so just like how we did with adding fractions with different denominators, the same rules apply for subtracting fractions with different denominators. So if we look at the first example, we've got the denominator of 8 and 4. And what we want to do is we actually want to convert that 4 into an 8. And just like how we did it, we've got to figure out what the um, lowest common multiple between 4 and 8 is. And in this case, it is 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2 and the numerator by 2. And when I do this, I am going to end up with 7 over 8 minus 3 times 2, which is 6, 4 times 2, which is 8. Now, the denominators are the same. So I'm going to write down 8 as it is, and then 7 minus 6, which happens to be 1. Looking at question B, uh, we've got 5 and 4. Uh, with 5 and 4, the lowest common multiple is 20. So we've actually got to change both of these fractions. So we're going to take 4 over 5 and leave a little bit of a gap, minus 1 over 4. And what I'm going to do is I want to change that 5 and 4 to 20. So I'm talking about the denominators. So the first one with this 5, I'm going to multiply it by 4, which means I also have to do the same in the numerator, times it by 4. And then on the other side, I've got the quarter. So I've got to multiply by 5 and then 1 times 5 just to match up what I did in the denominator with the numerator. So 4 times 4 is 16. 5 times 4 is 20 minus 1 times 5 is 5 and then 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 is the common like the same denominator and then I've got 16 take away 5 which happens to be 11. Finally, looking at question C here. Now, and I know I talked about this during adding fractions with different denominators. Likewise, in this case, with 6 and 4, you might be wondering, well, can I just do 6 times 4 and kind of be done and dusted? Yes, you can do that. However, what I would recommend is getting into the habit of finding the lowest common multiple. Now, if you have kind of don't know what I'm talking about here with lowest common multiple, Go back and check this playlist right at the beginning i did have um, a couple of i think there was a video on lowest common multiple uh, that might be of uh, use to you otherwise drop it in the comment section uh, somebody if, if you could remind me i will actually link it up here somewhere but anyway between six and four what we know is the lowest common multiple is 12. so we're going to take five over six and we're going to minus three quarters so the six we know that to get change the 6 to uh, 12 what we're going to do is multiply by 2 and same with the 5 we're going to multiply it by 2 as for the 3 over 4 we are going to multiply 4 times 3 to get to 12 and 3 times 3 uh, to get the numerator so when we do this we've got 5 times 2 which happens to be 10 6 times 2 which is 12 minus 3 times 3 which is 9 4 times 3 is 12 and as you can see the denominators are the same which means we can now subtract the numerator. So we've got 10 take away 9, which is going to equal to 1. Now, in terms of doing this on the calculator, with the calculator, um, just with adding fractions, it's kind of similar kind of instruction there. In any calculator, you're going to have a fraction button like this, or in some of the older calculators, you will have the ABC button. So if you do have the ABC button uh, to enter it as a fraction, you would go uh, 7, a, B, C, and then 8. Now, in this particular calculator, I've got a fraction button, so I'm going to click on that. And so I've got 7 over 8 there. And then I'm going to move along and do minus 3 over 4. And as you can see, I am getting an answer of 1 over 8. And same, likewise, we can do 4 over 5, take away 1 over 4. Oh, no, 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 no. See, I've got to make sure I do that right, right? There we go. Move that cursor first. And then I'm going to go 1 over 4. Um, I'm just going to be curious. I'm just going to kind of put it. No, 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 I'm not. No, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to put one over four like this. There we go. That's 11 over 20. And then finally, five over six. Make sure the cursor is moved. Minus three over four. And as you can see, I can get one over 12. Now, what I want to try is instead of three over four, I'd like to put three divided by four and see what happens to see. 
there we go same answer 1 over 12 so just to kind of show you how you can actually get the answers in the calculator all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching